Hi guys, so I'm just going to do a really um, quick and simple um, cottage pie recipe for you today. Um, so for this you're going to need 500 grams of extra lean steak mince, some onions, I'm using the frozen onion just for convenience, a couple of carrots, some potatoes and some stock. You can add other vegetables to it if you want to. My mum always adds mushrooms to hers, but I don't like mushrooms, so I'm not going to. But you can literally put anything in, sweet, turnip, um, courgette, anything that you want to add into it sort of to bulk up the vegetables, that's fine. Or you can serve it with extra vegetables, it's up to you. So I'm just going to show you how to make it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your potatoes boiling until they're nice and soft, ready to mash up. Okay, so while your potatoes are boiling, you need to do the main part of the cottage pie. So you need to get a pan on the hob and get it hot and then just add in your 500 grams of lean mint and just fry that off. You don't need any fry light or anything as long as you keep, keep an eye on it because the juice from the mint will stop it from sticking to the pan okay okay so when your mince is pretty much fried off um, like I said I've added no extra water or anything to this so that that's just the natural fat from the, the extra lean mince even though it is extra lean there is always some fat content in it so you don't need to put any extra fry light in it it just cooks in its own fat so once that's pretty much fried off you just want to add your onions to the mix and then just just cook them until they are cooked along with the mix okay so while your mince and onions are cooking away you also want to add in your carrots there we go so give them bit of a mix round as well and just cook the whole thing for a few minutes until the onions and carrots are starting to soften. Okay so so now you've got your um, carrots, onions um, cooking alongside the mint you just want to add your stock. So all I've got here is one of the Knorr stock pots um, and I've just melted that in 300 mils of boiling water so you just want to add that into your meat mixture like so sorry uh, and just give that a stir around now you just want to simmer that just because all you wanted to do now is just soften up the carrots a little bit although they will soften when it goes in the oven but you want to make sure you your beef mixture doesn't boil dry just turn it down onto a lower heat and just simmer it nicely just until your carrots are soft okay so you want to then get your mince into a suitable casserole dish and then you're going to cover it with the now mashed potatoes which are all here ready to go okay so once you've got your mashed potato all spooned in on the top you then want to put it into the oven for approximately 20 to 30 minutes just to cook through nicely now some people um, beat up an egg and just brush it over the top of the mashed potato I've never done this um, and it works out just as fine so it's that one is an entirely preferential choice um, which is why I haven't included it in the ingredients but it is up to you if you want to do that Okay, so once you've taken it out of the oven, after like I said about 15 to 20 minutes, this is what it will look like. And there it is, cottage pie. 